from SewingGold.com. We're going to show you how to um, adjust the stitch regulator. Um, this is going to be if your reverse lever is moving or if your stitch regulator is um, messed up. Right now we have it on a max stitch of number eight. Alberto, can you, yeah, sew on that. We didn't put any thread on there, but you can see how long it's going. Okay, now let's turn it all the way to zero. Okay, so this is on zero. And now it's not moving. Just for sake of argument, put it on, yeah, put it on one or two. That's good. Three. Now it's making that real tight stitch. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to put it all the way back where we're going to start. Okay, where do we start when we take it off? Eight? Seven. Zero. Start at zero. Okay, let's turn the machine off so we can hear better. Okay. Be careful because there's a spring behind that push lever. This thing that says push, there's a spring. Be careful so it doesn't pop out. And there's a little pin. Okay, let me just show what you took out. Okay, so now this is at zero right now. But I'm going to show you, we're going to take it all the way out. Take it all the way off. And we have to do this with the pliers. We're going to take this piece all the way off. And this is what I want you to do. Take it all the way off. Alright, so we took it all the way off. Now you can see the reverse levers all the way up. Okay? Now we're going to, this is the way we're going to fix the problem. You have to push the reverse lever all the way down and hold it down, right? Hold this down. Okay, hold the reverse lever down. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so now with the pliers holding the reverse lever down, do not let go of the reverse lever. We're going to turn this in all the way until it stops. Okay, so now it's stopped and it's on zero. Okay, now we're going to just put it all back together. Make sure you put that pin back in. The pin always has that little tip facing out. Let me zoom in on that. Hold on one sec, Alberto. Let me just show that. See how that tip is sticking out? Okay, go ahead. Now we have to put the um, a little piece to push clip on there. I don't know what you actually call it. Okay, and make sure that the pin is sticking out of that hole. Hold on, let me zoom in on that. I can't get it. Hold on, let me zoom in on that. There we go. So now you can see that pin sticking out. Okay. Now we're going to put the knob back on and we're going to put it at zero. So there's no zero on it. Okay, so now you want to make sure it's on zero. There's no zero on there, like I said. So we're going to put it in between eight and one. Okay, then we're going to grab our screw. And we're going to screw that back on, all the way back on. Okay, so now we're on zero. Let's sew on zero again. Let me turn the machine on. Okay. We're on zero, not moving, okay, let's go to a three, go to three, okay, now we're on three, okay, now we're going to go all the way to eight, go to eight, and it doesn't move anymore, okay, now, as you can see, the reverse lever is not moving, everything is exactly the way it should be. Okay, so now we're just going through different numbers. And the reverse lever does not move. Put it back to eight, Alberto. Okay, 
If you have any questions, just give us a call. My name's Steve from SewingGold.com, 888-505-4565. Thank you.